guys and welcome to another lap around the Top Gear test track in a Bitron B2 and I'm in real life it's a Citroen C3 so why not have a Bitron B2 which just, just replace the two C's with two B's and that's what you end up with. Now on this person this thing to be pretty quick I know the actual base car isn't particularly quick but this is the track day edition uh, I thought, you know, I don't expect this thing to be too quick, so, you know, we'll give it a bit of a chance, use the track day version. Obviously, at some point, we will take the regular Bitron B2 around as well, so it's okay. But I thought, you know, why not have a bit of a quick car go around? So, without further ado, one, two, three, go! So. I'm expecting this thing to be pretty quick. I'm not sure how quick. It is still a little hatchback. Uh, I'm not really sure how much difference being a track day edition makes. It, it, it sounds reasonably loud, so I'm thinking that could be one of them. Has it only got three gears? No, it hasn't, I was going to say. So we'll slow it down here. Nice corner. That's very sharp on the corners. That's where it's going to gain a lot of its time on all the other cars. It's much better in the corners. I can only feel that. So we'll see. But so far, this car is feeling pretty quick. I mean, I, I do feel like this car is good. So we'll see what we can do. Whoa! Whoa! I did not expect the car to do that under braking. No, I missed out on the first corner of Hammerhead, so that mistake and yeah you know, might even out but obviously this is why as I've said before why we do two laps just to make absolutely sure that the lap time we've got is what the car's capable of so obviously I'm not counting that as gaining time I'm pretty sure we lost time in that so or maybe it was equal who knows whoa this car is moving about a bit It's quick, it feels quick, this car. Oh, uh, I missed the checkpoint. <laughs> oh, okay, it was about 1.36. I definitely saw 1.36 when we crossed the line. So, we'll count that as a 1.36, is what we'll say. So, I'll cross the line again. So we'll say that was a 136. Right, I'll make sure I start more in the middle from now on to make sure we can hit the checkpoint because we always come around on this end of the track, don't we? So it was about a 136. I'll just say this. Let's say a 136.5. You know, that's probably the closest we're going to get. And it was just a rough time, so I'd, I'd rather not go off it. So, we'll see what we end up next time, but I think it was roughly a 136.5. One, two, three, go. So, we'll see what we can do this time now. Now the checkpoint's more in the centre, we might have some better luck. This thing's actually really damaged. It's got 4.2% damage. Uh, hopefully that doesn't affect us. Oh, no, the car still feels okay to drive, so... Car to drive, so I'm all right. Oh, we hit we hit the tire barrier. That wouldn't, didn't really slow us down. So I mean, we got a bit of a sharp exit out as a result. Oh dear, we have lost steering. Great. Okay, so we'll have to reset this one. Okay, another lap then, is it? like it. One more lap then, is it? One more. One, two, three, go. Now if we set the car it won't have that damage either that it 
felt like it might have had, so, you yeah, know, oh well. So we'll try not to get in the tyres this time and lose steering. So obviously this is still our second lap attempt, as we didn't cross the lap, we didn't cross the finish line last time. So I guess you couldn't really call it a lap, it's more of a get round half a corner and then realise the car's broken. It's a little bit different. So, and then cut in here. Don't hit the tyres. This car is not, this is definitely its weakest corner I think, I don't know why, it might be how I'm steering it, but it doesn't feel too quick. So coming up to Hammerhead now, we'll try not to lock the brakes up, so I'll, without, you know, I'll, I'll be a bit more gentle on the brakes. Whoa! Okay, that still locked the brakes up, did it? This thing has got sensitive brakes, so we'll skip out Hammerhead, wait a bit, time penalty, you know, and then keep going. So this isn't going to be the greatest, you know, we're not going to have the greatest idea of how quick this car really is. Sadly, I would have loved to have, you know, know how really quick this thing is up. So, I can always do a third lap, but I'd rather not. So, I don't, I don't think we lost too much time because we cut out the whole of Hammerhead, so. Because this thing just, its brakes are very sensitive. I mean, I, didn't, I, I only used half brake input there. Not even half, I couldn't say. I didn't use much, though really not much and it, across the line it's going to be quite slow okay we'll do another lap we'll do a third every car gets three chances obviously we prefer to do it into the minimum amount of chances we give a car is two and the maximum is three and this thing's now on its proper third lap if it fails this one we mess it up that's it we're going to go with the 136 as I wrote down one two three go so Right, one final time. Come on, Bitron, you can do this. You have not got another lap. So, either we go with that rough time, or we leave it. You know, but the thing is, I'm not really happy with it being a rough time, so we might just have to move on from this car and do it another time, maybe. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. This lap should be good. Oh, what the? Oh, not again. We have that glitch where the... Where the brake... Where the throttle just didn't work. But there we go, there's no point making excuses. We're faster through there anyway, so this is, you know, this lap we end up with, this is our lap. If, you know, if we're slow, we'll, we'll go with the rough time. Although I'd rather not, really. Oh God, I was very, very gentle on the brakes that time. Like, you wouldn't believe how gentle I was. I was like, eee. <laughs> It was okay though, I still got slowed down in time. This thing's just not very good in terms of, you know, how, how good it feels under braking. It's not that great. But so far, I'd say this, this, apart from the slight slowdown we had in turn two, but I'd say it's okay. I wouldn't say we lost too much time, maybe, you know, half a second. Because it was going into a corner anyway, so it's not as relevant. Oh, we're a bit slow here. Although, it looks like it could actually be around a 136. That 136 was a rough time. I didn't really look what it was when we crossed the finish line. I think that's a good time, though. I don't feel like we lost any time. So I think that 136, it was, it was rough. It wasn't accurate. So in the end, it's a 141.547. I mean, uh, maybe... We'll take this car around another time and get a better time from it, but for now, I'm happy with what we got. So, one is a 41.547. I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that. I think, you know, we maybe could have done a bit better, but what can you expect? So, sort. <coughs> oh, that was close actually. I didn't realise that. It was literally 1,000. That's not on purpose. That's amazing. It's 1,000th off the Hirachi Sunburst, the Bitron B2 1.6 litre track day edition. I didn't, I didn't plan that. <laughs> Just saying. That's amazing, that. That's totally amazing. Also, would you guys like me to put position on here? You know what I am. I'm going to put position. 
it seems silly not to have the position on there, doesn't it? Let's put that on now, so... We'll just put up to like 15 for now. Obviously we haven't taken ran enough cars to meet. There. So we'll just go up to 15th for now. Save that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.